Hey everyone, this is Kendrick Coleman, and we're going to be doing some power testing today of my vSphere Home Lab of what I call the Green Machines. I'm stepping back a little bit just to give you an overview of everything that's going on at my desk. In the last video, we took a, lo took a look at this gaming PC. As we, can we saw it used around, it peaked around 190 watts being used. Currently, what we see right here in my desk is I have my MacBook Pro, which currently is just running off of battery power. I've got two LCD monitors, which are currently turned off and not plugged in, so they're not draining any wattage. I also have my Logitech ZX3000 speaker system, which isn't plugged in as well, so that's not taking any wattage. Uh, if we look over here, we'll, actually, we'll go down here first, and here are my two shuttle machines. These are shuttle XPC SH55J2s, uh, as you can see with the I Love VMware bumper stickers on them. Uh, each one has three NICs in it, two both of them have a dual Broadcom NIC card in there. They also have no video card, no internal hard drive, and they all boot off a USB disk that is located in the back. On top of that, we have our Synology DS411 NAS. This Synology has four Western Digital hard drives, and they are one terabyte apiece. I think they're the Western Digital Caviar Black. Now, also, if we look up here a little bit we can see what's currently being plugged in is this WRT 320N Linksys router we also have back here shining my light on it I don't know if you can see it very well maybe you can see with all the cables sticking out is my HP Pro Curve 1810 8G it's an 8 gigabit switch um, I also have back here a two wire router that's from AT&T for UVerse and it also has its own UPS back there. These currently aren't plugged in so we will not be draining any power off of there so we won't get any meter readage off of that. And in addition as you can see back here is my APC UPS so we have a battery backup currently plugged in that's what everything's plugged into. Likewise coming off there is also this Belkin uh, surge protector. This is also plugged into the APC wireless or sorry the APC backup battery power. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit of a rat's nest of wires back here, and I'll be cleaning that up shortly. I, I would hope so. <laughs> um, currently, with everything turned off, and only the shuttles, the Synology, the APC, the Belkin power, sorry, the Belkin surge protector, the switch and the router, we are currently using around 27, 28 watts, and this is just everything turned off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on the Synology as you can see right here. So Synology is turned on and we can see it start jumping up right away. We're going to let that one start booting up just for here for a second. Once I see all four lights flashing I will go ahead and I will start booting up both of the shuttle machines. So as you can see the this Synology, it has four hard drives in it, and it says it's rated to only use 60 watts peak, and that's that's actually a pretty good energy rating, if I must say myself. It's something that you can't really get as well if you were to try to do this homebrew and even stick your own 300 watt power supply in them. Um, these shuttle machines right here, both of these have 300 watt power supplies. They're both rated at 80 plus bronze, so. Uh, it has a, a, a green factor to it as well. Okay, so this is sitting around 75 uh, watts being used right now. It's still booting up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the power button on the shuttles over here. I want to see if I can get it onto the... So as you can see, there's the shuttle. So we got one booting up right now, and we can see that uh, there's a significant spike right there, only about 70 watts. Um, that's what I've noticed so far is that each shuttle only uses around 70 watts of power. So that's pretty good. So right now we're sitting at current boot with a Synology with four hard drives and the one, one shuttle PC we're looking around 160. We're going to go ahead and we're going to turn on the second shuttle. And we're going to see, so it spiked around 221 right there. Uh, as we saw with the regular other desktop, we spiked with around 190. And that's just one desktop. Now we've got a Synology, two desktops, a 
router, a switch, we've got all kinds of stuff going on and we're using a little bit more energy but it's still it's still very energy efficient. Um, if we go back here we can might be able to see if we're if V centers up and running and to see if we can or actually not a V center but at least if one of the machines is up and running and we can start turning on some VMs and we can see if we're getting any kind of change in the wattages right now as you can see it's still hovering around anywhere between 200 and 230 uh, it spikes up sometimes around 2 230 240 so as you can see it dipped it actually dipped down a lot right now so now we're, we're sitting here might be idling around 170 to 200 so that's pretty good so if we come up here as we can see it's not up yet let's try this one more time maybe it's up okay now it's up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on uh, three machines real quick so we can see we can get a little closer I'm going to try to I'm going to turn on my AD server and my vCenter server and see what kind of spikage we get happening back down here. As you can see, we're sitting around still about the same, around 205, 208. Um, granted, it will spike up. I'm going to go ahead and hit another power on button for another virtual machine while this is sitting here to see if there's any spike. So I just hit the power on button, and granted, really didn't see much of a spike. Both of these, these processors and these shuttles are running Core i5. 760s and within uh, vSphere itself they're running in a balanced power state so it'll know when it needs to take more CPU or when you need to take more power to actually be able to run everything. As we can see the Synology is starting to crunch a little bit you can hear the hard drives kicking on but we're seeing around 200 watts of power and that's currently with everything running three virtual machines and uh, it's a significant power savings compared to just one regular desktop. There you have it, that's the vSphere Home Lab, the green machines.